let's hope my um OBS doesn't crash this time. Uh, give me a give me a while while I set up the um YouTube chat. I got I got to do this every time. Uh, YouTube, you need to do something about this. This is really troublesome. You know, I have to um add the chat to my OBS every time there is a new live stream. So. And that's the reason why it crashed in the first place. I'm not too sure is it if, if it's because of that, but most likely it's because of that. So uh, that's the reason why it crashed. So now it seems to be working properly. So let me just resize this so that, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't get in the way. All right, so looks like everything's working fine now. So no crashing. Hi guys, Ian here. Thank you so much for joining my live stream. For those of you who clicked on it, and uh, you know the live the live stream crashed. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened, but uh, well, it, things happen, right? So anyway. Um, it's Christmas Eve here in Singapore and I'm going to, you know, I want to wish all of you uh, happy holidays and um, happy new year, Christmas, have Merry Christmas to you guys, you know, and enjoy the season. It's no time to get uh, merry. Uh, yeah. So today is um, New Arrivals Day and I've got two. Uh, new arrivals. One is from, uh, in fact, both of them are from TRN and uh, sent to me by Shenzhen Audio. Thank you so much uh, for sending this to me and letting me try it out. So, yeah. So in this video, I'm going to listen to them uh, compared uh, with my top earphones uh, based on the categories. Uh, and then I'm going to measure it, show you guys the graph and uh, you guys, uh, you know, be the judge if this is worth uh, your money or not, right? So my job here is to share with you guys as much information as possible so you guys can make an informed decision uh, and, uh, you know, not waste your hard-earned money, right? So let's begin first. Uh, let's uh, go through the price brackets for this. So uh, let me just flash the, uh, the website. So the first one that we are going to look into is the uh, CS4. And the CS4 is a single dynamic driver IM. And the price for this is a very, very budget price of $9.90. Uh, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a 10 millimeter dual magnetic dynamic driver, silicone crystal composite biocellulose diaphragm, okay? Uh, and the frequency range for this is 20 to 20,000 hertz. And the uh, impedance is uh, 23 ohms, right here, 23 ohms. And the sensitivity is 118, okay? And that's it. Looks nice and clear. Looks like it's got a clear shell. How many colors does it come with? I think it's just one color. Oh, it, even you even have that option of choosing type C. So you can either choose Type C or um, uh, 3.5 headphone jack. Okay, so that's the price for this. Uh, next would be the um, conch. So this is the TRN conch, and this is a little bit on a higher bracket. So this is under fifty dollars, and uh, is thirty eight dollars US, and it comes in just one color, I guess. Yeah, just one color, silver. And it's got a single dynamic driver, and it's uh, also 10 millimeters, uh, DLC composite diaphragm, okay? And the um, frequency range for this is 20 to 20,000 hertz as well. Impedance is 30 ohms, and the um, sensitivity is 114, okay? So that's the specs and the price for these two. And let's just um, look at the box. Okay, so this is the box for the CS4. 
and this is the uh, conch. Okay, so uh, I'll do it one by one. So let's uh, start off with the um, CS4, which is the budget one. This is uh, 990. Let me just check my live stream and see if it's working. Doesn't seem to have any. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's fine. The, hello there, top frag. But the thing is, I'm not getting any comments showing on my. Oh, it is. It's, it's showing. Okay, right. So back to my live stream. Um, top frag. Hi, hi, top frag. Thank you so much for joining in my live stream. So anyway, uh, let's open this one up first, okay? And if you guys just joined in, I am going to review uh, two new arrivals today. And uh, one of them is the CS4 and the other is the Honk. And both of them are single dynamic driver IEMs. One is a budget one, which is uh, $9.90. Uh, and the other is $37, $38. Okay, so this is the CS4. So let's so open up and see the IEM itself or what's inside. This is, this is budget. So I think I'm not going to spend too much time with the packaging for this because you're not going to get much. Basically, a uh, user guide. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, you get your ear tips. And most likely, the uh, ear tips are going to be generic ear tips. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, they are. So these are pretty uh, standard generic ear, ear tips. I mean, they work fine, right? For me, um, not my kind of ear tips because it's kind of smooth, it's kind of soft. Uh, but, you know, if you're on a budget and uh, you, you want to, you know, just stick to the stock ear tips, this will still work fine. Okay, so that is for the ear tips. And um, next, the cable. Again, these are pretty you know, generic cables. These are not my, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of these cables, to be honest. I'm not too sure how to put it in a nice way, but it's not a nice cable. <laughs> no pun intended, but yeah, it's not, it's not a nice cable. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this cable, but it is, it is what it is. It's $9 and 90 cents. So I'm not expecting too much from this cable. It's a braided cable. And it's sticky, it's grippy, it's thin, it's soft, it, you know, tangles up. Yeah. So, let's move on to the IEM itself. And this is $9.90. Oh, I've got some comments here. Uh, Top Frag, just wondering, what sound profile do you prefer between a full P8 or orchestra like K, uh, Kiwi Ears? Um, first and foremost, I, I've not heard the um, a full P8, so... Um, I won't be able to comment on that, but uh, orchestra light, yeah, I like that sound. To me, I, I like orchestra light. So, but I can't compare to uh, Aful P8 because I I haven't heard that earphone. Okay, so anyway, back to the IEM itself. This is the CS4, and uh, as you can see, it's a clear shell. Okay, and uh, you can see very clearly the dynamic driver inside. Okay. And, um, oh, I like the ear tips. This is actually the T, T tips. And this is uh, a very good ear tip. It's an upgraded ear tip. So it's it's not like your um, top ear tips. These are the generic ear tips. But this one is a much grippier ear tip. It's nice. It's, um, the silicone on this is better quality. Uh, but, you know, well, that's the reason why they only give one set, I guess. Yeah. But it's a, it's, a, it's a good ear tip and um, very nice sounding ear tip. Okay, so uh, looking on the inside, uh, you can see that the uh, nozzle is part, is brass, uh, brass sorry, <laughs> and uh, it's inserted into the, um, I think this is acrylic or resin, feels like uh, resin. Yeah, it's inserted into the inner shell. Okay, and you've got a vent here and um, you can see the dynamic driver right here is a, it's a hollow shell. Sorry about that. It's a hollow shell, right? The silicone is not filled up of the entire shell. And uh, there's a fin, right? So there's a fin here. And this is a pretty aggressive fin. This, this IEM is a little bit tall and slim kind of IEM, as you can see. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not 
your usual uh, shape. But yeah, this is pretty unique, I would say, in terms of IEM shapes. Okay, so that's for the um, shape of this. Let's listen to it. Um, I'm going to use its stock, its stock cable, which I'm not a fan of, but yeah. All right, so let's try it out. Try the fit first. Uh, is there any indication? Yes, there is, but it's very faint. So this is left. Okay. And this is the uh, QDC style type of uh, connection, the two pin connection. As you can see, the uh, two pin sticks out. Top frag. Uh, I just bought Oracle MK2 from T Audio and I'm loving it. Of course, Oracle sounds really good, nice and deep and warm and wholesome. Yes, very nice uh, earphones. Expensive though. That's uh, should be top of uh, top of the line type of earphone compared to this. Okay, so let's try it out and see how it fits to my ears. Um, it's all right. It's not fit wise. Is is okay. It's not. It's not the best fit. It's not giving me a good seal, and I need to uh angle it. But it's, it's once I get that seal, it's fine. It stays in there. Doesn't come out. It, it doesn't doesn't move, so it's fine. Okay, so fit is nice. Uh, now let's listen to this. But before I listen to it, I want to um refresh my memory. Not really refresh my memory because I'm gonna compare it with uh, Hola, right? So Hola is nineteen dollars. I mean, it's a bit more expensive. So I'm gonna listen to Hola, and then. I'm going to listen to the CS4 and then compare it to see, uh, as you guys know, uh, the Hola is my top IEM for under $20. So I'm going to listen to the Hola and then refresh my hearing memory and compare it with the CS4 and see where this CS4 stands. So let me take my ear tip out. And as you guys know, I always use spin fits. Okay. Hmm. I'm down to my last set of M. Where did the rest of my M go to? I'm not too sure, but anyway. So, um, how are you guys going to celebrate uh, Christmas? Maybe you can let me know. I mean, it's Christmas Eve now. Okay. Let's... This is the W1, by the way. And um, now W1s, they ship in individual packages. Okay, so, yeah. All right, so I'm going to listen to one song on just on the whole last. And it's my usual hand song by Spoon. All right, so uh, there's another comment. Top frag. The Apple P8 is the most comfortable IEM I've ever tried. Even better fit than the Apple P5. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, uh, our ear anatomy is all different. Okay, so what may fit me um, may not fit you. And what that IEM, that particular IEM may fit you, uh, that from the same brand, another model may not fit you. So, you know, it's, it's very, very subjective. It's very personal as well. So, um, yeah. So just to recap, uh, I'm going to listen to the Hola and then I'm going to compare it with the CS4 and see if it's com the CS4 is comparable, even comparable in terms of uh, sound to what I like, right? Because, you know, the Hola is what I like. It's the top of the list for, on, for under, under $20. Okay. All right, so I'm going to listen to Spoon just to refresh my memory. Okay, so Spoon. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to skip to the chorus. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So I refresh my memory on the holas. Now let's listen to the CS4s and see how it compares to the holas. Now the fit on this, I think when I tried it out earlier, it's a little bit odd. I think it's because of the um, the fin. It's not going in and I, I need to pinch my ears. Hmm. Uh, I've got a, another comment. Francis Albert, um, Francis, I'll just call you Francis. Thanks for joining in my live stream. Um, I'm on a budget and it's, and choosing between TR and MT3 and MT4. Now I'm waiting for your feedback on this new TS4. Hope to hear a suggestion between the three. Okay. I can compare them later. I'll show you the graph later. But for now, the fit is giving me an issue on my right ear. But okay, so it's in. Let's listen to Spoon. Ah, my God. So this has got a very thin base and very, it's pretty bright. So when the base is thin, treble becomes bright and yeah, vocals are recessed. It's not, it's not as forward as the haulers. I would say this is, uh, the treble on this is more forward than the bass, from what I hear. And overall, a very lean bass, surprisingly. Treble, I'm trying, I'm trying to hear out for any harshness, but treble seems to be overall um, more forward. So if you were to increase the volume to try to to hear the bass or feel the bass, then you get a lot of uh, treble extension. Sound stage wise is wide. Uh, in terms of spaciousness, it's spacious, but uh, it's okay, it's not too intimate, but it's pretty closed in. Not so much impact on the bass, it's more treble emphasis. So, okay, so that's Ken. Now let's listen to a male vocal, and uh, usually I listen to Thanks to You by Boss Skaggs. Okay, so Rumble, it's all right. It does seem to have quite a bit of extension of the uh, bass, the sub bass. Yeah. Okay, so male vocals, they sound thin as well. So it's telling me that this has got a very lean bass because I'm not getting too much weight to the male vocal. But it's not harsh. A little bit energetic, but it's not overly harsh. And it's not a dark treble as well, but I, I can't tell. I need to listen to uh, female vocals to, to really tell. But so far, it's a pretty neutral bass. Very shy bass. Okay, so that's for male vocals. Now let's listen to a female vocals, which is... Okay. Right. Yeah. So what I hear is female vocals have got good energy. Very good presence as well bright and i would say pretty the sparkle is pretty good let's see if it's sibilant so far it isn't i'm i'm not getting any fatigue yeah okay so but the fit i'm getting i'm getting an issue with the fit on this Oh man. 
Okay. Okay, so female vocals is not very intimate. Enough space away from the center of my head, which is good. And sound separation on this is all right. It's not, it's not very good. Detail retrieval on this is actually surprisingly not bad. But the clarity of it is it's all right. Not, not a very resolving IEM, I would say, compared to the Holas. But overall, it, I mean, it does sound like a, you know, $10 IEM. But definitely performs much better at that price point. Let's listen to a rock song. Um, Enter Sandman. So far, this is pretty good for the price of nine ninety, and it's, I mean, it's average lah when it comes to resolution and the detail retrieval. The sound stage is also is spacious, but it's not the how to say the most spaced out. Our instruments are not. It's not this instruments and vocals and percussions are not congested, but they are not really um identifiable, I might say. But it's all right. I can tell electric guitars are on this side, uh, snares are in the middle, and the other guitars on this side. So pretty all right. And of course, the lead singer is in the middle. He's, he hasn't started singing yet, so let me just jump straight to the, oh uh, yeah. Okay, so, so far it's pretty natural sounding. It's, it's just like, you know, what I would normally hear on other earphones in terms of the uh, positioning of the instruments and the vocals and all that. So it's pretty all right, but overall sound, Okay, the overall sound for this, uh, it's I would say lean. the The bass is lean. It's not a it's not a bass hit type of uh bass. It's not even a balanced type of bass. It's pretty neutral type of bass from what I hear. Treble extension is uh more than the bass. Not much bass impact as well, and uh, overall technical performance for this is average. I think for a price of $9.90, uh, it's pretty good. Not bad. Okay, so let's uh, measure this and see how it looks like on the graph. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, give me one second to get myself organized. Where is my table? Oh, yeah. Forgot the most important thing. My measuring rig. Okay, so uh, let's measure this and see how it looks like on the graph. Uh, by the way, um, I still prefer the Hola. So the Hola has got more bass uh, presence, more uh, impact as well. And it is overall sounds warmer, more balanced as well. And it's more musical. Okay, so let me just adjust the volume first. Um, do some settings on my um, coupler. Make sure everything's set up properly. Okay. Mm. Let's put the IEM into the coupler. First, I need to change to my foam tips. And I say this all the time. I always use foam tips because I want the measurement to be consistent because all my other measurements are with foam tips. Uh, Hokago Tea Time Reviews. Hello, Ian. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine. How about yourself? Merry Christmas to you. Uh, top frag. Three seconds in and your reaction was, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was a surprise to me because I was expecting a lot of bass, but I didn't get that 
base at all. That that surprised me. Okay, now let's uh adjust the volume to eighty five, roughly there. Okay, and uh, let's see how it graphs. I think you guys got a sneak peek. Yeah. I think I spoke. Let me just reset that. All right, so I'm done measuring. This is how it looks like on the graph. So it's pretty close to what I heard. Um, bass extension is pretty good, as I mentioned. Not much bass impact. The vocals are recessed, instruments are recessed. Um, and the treble, yeah, it's actually, you know, a little bit more emphasized than the bass if you were to look at it in a straight line so that's why i find that it's a bit more brighter in terms of the tilt you know the balance of bass and treble and this part here like the, the uh the treble uh that's the reason why i didn't hear any sibilance i didn't hear i hear a little bit of um harshness but it's not sibilance i hear a lot a little bit of energy as i mentioned as well and a little bit of brightness which is this part here which is about 4k but other than that i didn't hear much sibilance in fact no no sibilance and this is the reason why so the extension of this is it's all right it's actually pretty decent yeah okay Right, so guys, this is how it looks like on the graph. But graph doesn't tell you everything. You know, there's always the uh, um, technical performance for this, as I mentioned. So yeah, for $9.90, it sounds pretty decent. Uh, you know, it's $9.90. It's not going to cost a lot. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not, it doesn't sound as um, as pleasing as my Hollas. Where's my Hollas? Yeah. So when I when I compare them with the Hollers, um, Hollers uh, sound a bit more, well, a lot more musical to me. Uh, vocals are more forward. The sound stage is wider. It's more natural on the uh, Hollers. Uh, but bear in mind, Hollers are twenty dollars, so it's double the price of the CS4. So if you're on a budget, yeah, please get the CS4. Uh, but uh, if you do have a bit more on yourself then maybe you know spend a bit more yeah you get a, a little bit more natural sounding and more balanced sound compared to the cs4 but again i got to give it to them is ten dollars and ten dollars uh, to get this this kind of sound is pretty good let's see oh yeah come run come gun what in the <laughs> sorry that that I want, I, want to, I want to read out that comment and, and show you guys. That comment was very Singaporean. Now I want to show you guys. Uh, come run, come gun. Oh, come bang. What in the travel mountain range? That is a very Sing well, Singaporean or Malaysian, I don't know. But that is a very typical Singaporean or Malaysian slang. Uh, top frag just goes to show you don't always have to spend more to be happy yeah true true i do agree a uh, whole cargo tea time reviews never got a chance to try a kiwi ears i am would like to check them out once the orchestra light looks so good oh yeah orchestra light is really good i like them uh another i am i recommend at around ten dollars is the casey caster base edition such a good i am for 12 to 15 dollars well I didn't get to uh, listen to the caster, so I cannot comment on that. Uh, Martin, uh, just joined. Good 
Good morning. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Mid-range looks deeply scooped. Yes, as what I heard, it is scooped. It is. Okay, so that is for the CS4. Let's put them one side and move on to the next one. So give me just a few seconds to clear my table. And next I am to review is the uh, TRN Conk. Okay, so this is the TRN Conk. And let's just flash the um, website again. So this is the TRN Conk. Uh, and it's $38. And it's got a single dynamic uh, driver, DLC. Uh, diamond diaphragm, okay, and the specs. Okay, it looks nice, silver. It's got a removable uh, nozzle, I guess. We'll see. Okay, so that's a very quick flash of the um, website. It is, yeah. All right. Come run, Malaysia, sir. Was thinking to get this, but since I realize I'm not much of a treble head, I think I'm gonna skip it. Well, it depends. Yeah, it depends on on the personal listening preference and this. I mean, just now that CS4 seems like more of a treble head kind of uh, I am, and of course, and also that that deep valley there. Um, you know that kind of tuning, right? Is very suitable for France, techno, EDM, that kind of music. Because why? Everything else in the middle is recessed. You don't need to hear any of those. You just need to hear the bass and the treble for EDM, of course. Okay, so anyway, moving on. This is the conch, hearing conch. Let's open this up. Okay. Uh, whole cargo, getting the conch for review too by the way it's shown as 38 dollars but during 11 11 it was on sale for as low as 24 dollars wow good one okay so uh 10 millimeters so i see a flap here but i think it's open by the side and there you go this one is a little bit more you know pricey so it comes with a Nice carrying case and uh, nicer packaging as well. So you, you get what you pay for, right? I mean, a bit more money will get you a bit more quality, I guess. And yeah, so that's the paperwork and ear tips. Let's see what ear tips uh, it comes with. Usually it's generic, but this is actually a little bit better than the CS4. So these are the, well, still to me, they are stock ear tips. Okay. And uh, pretty narrow uh, in terms of bore. Not the narrowest, but still pretty narrow. That's the, I think it's got more than one type of uh, ear tips. And oh, okay, good. So it's good to pay a bit more because why? You get the T tips, right? So these are the, tips and uh, they, they are better quality ear tips they are more grippy the quality of the silicone is much better than the uh, usual silicone ear tips this is soft rubbery feel but this one has got a bit more grip okay and the inner ball is actually um i don't know expandable i guess well i still prefer my spin fits they are they're actually more adjustable as compared to this one Okay, so those are, I think there's another set. Yeah, so three different types of ear tips, if I'm not wrong. $38. Oh, okay, okay. So there are three, three types uh, of ear tips. And the last type is the foam tip. So you get foam tips, you get um, the T-tips, and you get the silicone tips. Okay, so three different types of ear tips. And you get the usual carrying case, Okay, so this one, you just need to get your fingers into that groove. 
Oh, okay. So you get interchangeable um connections as well, and you get nozzles. I think I don't want to spend. I I don't want to spend. Oh, the case seems to be a bit. I don't know. Dented, but this is the rubber part, so I don't really care about that. Anyway, that's the case. Let's take a look at the, at the cable first. Cable is what I'm interested in. And this is a nice cable. All right. So this is the nicest, one of the nicest uh, TRN cables. And it's with the interchangeable um, termination, which is, uh, I, I guess you can change from 3.5 to 4.4 to 2.5. Okay. And where are the terminations? So... To be here okay not a fan of th this type of uh, packaging 100% I mean it's a waste of plastic harms the earth but who cares right <laughs> I do uh, Merry Christmas uh, Ned and Mina Merry Christmas to you too uh, use the red nozzle uh, Ian, apparently that's the best sounding nozzle. The other two are apparently quite bright. Okay, I'll try them out. So yeah, I like it that they provide a cable that has got interchangeable um, uh, termination. So you get three different types. Uh, of course, you get 4.4, um, 3.5, and 2.5. Okay, I'm going to stick to the oh, 3.5. For my testing okay and I'm gonna compare it with my sim god EW200 later so this is under $50 this one is also under $50 so I'm gonna compare it and see how they compare of course so I like the cable this is a very nice cable okay this is I mean for $38 it's very nice and uh, I understand from uh, Hokago that uh, it's on sale sometimes it goes on sale to $24 so it's a pretty good deal for that now let's take a look at the IEM itself and this looks very familiar looks like the same got EW200 the shape of it the conch shape but I don't know I'll... well no no it's different it's different this part here it looks like a bullet style type of um shape but it's it's nice. I mean, it's uh, metal, fully metal. Okay, it's got this conch shape here. Uh, and um, yeah, I like the shape. I like the uh, the finishing and the overall durability of it. It feels, um, feels durable. It's not like plasticky kind of thing. And uh, of course, the nozzle. Oh, I forgot to take out the nozzle. I'll show you guys the nozzle. So now it's a good time. There should be three different types of nozzle. The thing is, you know, nozzles, right? You need to have a placeholder. And manufacturers need to provide a placeholder for the nozzles because the moment you unscrew the nozzle, it becomes a hazard because it's going to get lost. Yeah. So this is the nozzle and you can unscrew it. Okay, you can unscrew the nozzle and change out the nozzle. So how to tell the difference between the nozzles? For the TRN, it's actually the O-ring. Okay, so if you look at this O-ring, this is black. Okay, and um, it's con it says here reference. I'm not too sure you can see under the light, but it says here reference. Okay, so black. And um, the other one, there's blue and red. Okay, so this is red. So this, the O-ring is red. So three different types of tuning. Okay, the blue. So this O-ring here is blue. Okay. So you have transparent, which is bright. Sounds like it. You have red, which is atmospheric immersion. Sounds like more, I guess, soundstage. I'm not too sure. And reference. Reference is more balance, I guess. Okay, so three different types of tuning. 
All right, let's try the fit test. Uh, let's put it on the cable first. So as I mentioned, right, this is very important. This goes into my bag. So whenever I want to change the tuning, I will then, you know, you take out this placeholder to change out the nozzle. But I try not to change the nozzle when I'm out. So I'll just stick to one. Now the cable, does it, the ear hooks. Oh, so ear hooks comes with indication here, left and right. So this is right. And uh, it's, I think again, QDC style. Okay, QDC style of a uh, shielded type of um, two pin connection. Okay, pretty easy to go in. And that's it. So let's put it on, see how it fits. Mm, this definitely fits me better than, than the CS4, much better. And it goes in much better as well. Doesn't have much wriggle room. And yeah. Hmm. Pretty good. The fit is good. I can get gives me a good seal. And I, I, I can hear myself talking. So pretty good seal. Alright, so let's listen to this one. But before I listen to this one, I would like to refresh my memory of the SIM got EW200. Okay, so as you guys know, or if you guys didn't watch. Uh, the EW200 is my top um, under $50 single dynamic driver I am. Okay. Where's my ear tips? I tend to lose my ear tips. So, yeah. Can't find my um, spin fits. Oh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's um, listen to my EW200s and then I can compare it with the conch and see which one I prefer. You know, at the end of the day, uh, you just need to choose the IEM that you are comfortable with. It's got, it's got to do a few things. It, it, it needs to feel good when it goes into your ear and it needs to sound good as well so yeah so ew 200 fits my ear pretty well okay now let's listen to it and i'm gonna go back to my spoon just a quick one Okay. All right. Just give me 10 seconds to listen to this and it will refresh my memory of this EW200. Okay. Done. All right. So I've got a comment. Because the uh, T-tips and the TRN cable together was worth $30, if I'm not wrong. So to get the whole package at retailer's price, let alone $24 price is really great. Yeah, it is. It is. Of course, um, even at a value, you need to like the sound, right? You need to like how it sounds. And uh, I think it's the black tips. Yeah, so I'm with the reference tips. But to save time on this live stream, I'm just going to listen to maybe the transparent one just to see the extreme. But I don't want to waste too much of you, of your time. So I'm just going to listen to the black one, which is the balanced or referenced uh, tuning. Okay, so well, let's listen to Spoon. Um, okay, it sounds quite similar to the EW200, it's just that 
a bit harder to push, I guess. It's a bit harder to push, but... Okay. This has got more details, a little bit more details in terms of retrieval, less base. So it's got a li little bit less base preference, uh, presence than the EW200. Treble wise, it's a little bit harsher. And a bit thin, a bit grainy on the top end. Hmm. Okay. So, so far, what I hear sound stage wise is spacious, not too wide, not too intimate as well, quite natural in terms of the overall sound stage. Detail retrieval for this is pretty good, uh, quite comparable to the EW200. Base wise, it's not as much, it's not as present as the EW200. Overall, a pretty thin, it sounds thinner, not as warm as the EW200. Okay, so let's listen to male vocals. Mm. Okay, I mean, as what I heard just now, the bass is alright, but it's not as extended. The run, the extension of the bass is not as much as the EW two hundred. Sounds a bit rolled off. I don't know. Uh, male vocals sounds thin. I mean, not really thin, but sounds a bit recessed as well. Not as warm, not as textured. Um, but it's all right. Sounds clean, right? Male vocals they sound clean, not as um authoritative as I would like, but it sounds natural to me. So it's all right for male vocals. Now let's listen to female vocals. Yeah, so this is a little bit harsh. You know, just now when I when I listened to the CS4, it sounded harsh, not but it's tolerable and very energetic on the CS4. For this, it's the same thing. I find that is pretty in my face in terms of female vocals. Yeah, female vocals is like somewhat, you know, right in my face and singing right in front of me. And this is harsh. Yeah. This is harsh. And this is the reference nozzle. So just imagine what's going to happen when I change out to the transparent nozzle. Whew. But it's not, it's not sibilant. Thank God. Yeah. But so far, it's... I mean, it's quite similar to CS4. It's just that it's a bit more energetic for female vocals on this. Now let's listen to a rock song. Mm. It's not a very bright treble. And the bass is... Wait, I'm waiting for the kick drums to come in. Yeah, it's not a very uh, impactful type of uh, kick drum. Rumble is a bit r rolled off. It's not very bright as well. It's all right, but it's intense. Yeah. But overall, the technical performance for this is actually pretty good. Uh, sound separation is much better than the CS4, but in terms of sound separation compared to the EW200, it's actually quite comparable. This has got more details, as I mentioned. 
uh, EW200 sounds warmer, more musical as well. Overall, a more balanced sound as compared to this one, the conch. Now, I'm listening to, to the vocals now, and this, okay, so there's a few things. It sounds recessed, laid back, at the same time, intense. Yeah. Okay, so I think I've heard enough. Uh, let me just pause the song. Ooh. All right, so um, for the conch. Hmm. Bass is all right. It's not overwhelming bass. It's not... Um, I mean, the extension of the rumble is also not too extended. Treble is uh, intense, I would say. I I'm not going to listen to this. Do you guys want me to listen to the transparent one? I mean, the ref... Why not? All right. Okay. I'll, I'll just listen to the red one. Red one is the uh, atmospheric immersion, I guess. Let me just quickly listen to the red nozzle at the request of uh, Hokago. Maybe the red nozzle is, you know, better, sounds better to me than the black nozzle. I don't know. So let's try it out. Just a quick one. I know many of you Oh, everyone's requesting for the red one. Okay, so let me just listen to the red one. I'm just I'm going to listen to the red one. And I think probably later when I measure it, I need to show you guys two measurements. Hey, this is not going in. So the thing about screws or threads I don't know if this is right, but it doesn't seem to go in all the way. Let's try the other side, the left side. Left side goes in all the way, and I can feel that. You guys can see that. But the right side seems to have a gap. Let's try that again. Ouch. Not too sure if it's the, the thread or something or maybe the o-ring but yeah okay i guess it's a thread okay i think it went in look at my fingers they're all red <laughs> okay so um that's the thing about, you know, interchangeable nozzles. I mean, it's better than switches because at least it's more identifiable and it's more physical as well. But switches, you need to carry a manual with you around and you need to remember what's up, what's down and all that nonsense. Okay. Um, now I have the red nozzle in my ears. Let's listen to Spoon again. Okay, there's a little bit more bass on this now. A little bit more bass presence. Hmm. Uh, this sounds a bit more... It's not as harsh as well. So this sounds a little bit more balanced. And in terms of... The details, it's not as... The details on this is not as clear. And the nuances is not as much as the uh, black nozzle. It sounds a bit more rough, I would say. More muted. Not as bright, not as harsh. So this is actually more tolerable uh, to me. But then again, you know, it doesn't sound as resolute as the EW200.
yeah, this is more tolerable to me. It is. In fact, uh, the red, the red nozzle is sounds more to my preference, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I like the the red nozzle. Now let's see how they look like on the graph. Let me just uh, clear the uh, space here so that I can bring out my rig. Hmm. All right. Sorry about that. And my rig is here. Man, all these bags. Okay. Um, I'm just going to measure one side and uh, two nozzles. Okay, just to save time. So I've got the left side. And now I need to take my foam tips out. Oh, well, they provided foam tips so I can use their foam tips. Uh, yeah. Okay. Left side with the red uh, tips. And then later I'll change up. So first, let's save up this one, which is the CS4. So that later I can recall it. Okay, I can recall this graph. So let's clear this. Now let's just, let's uh, test the um, conch. Okay. First, let me adjust the volume, which is about there. Okay. And let's reset. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the red nozzle. And uh, as what I heard, the base, the sub base is rolled off. Mid base is, um, I mean, it's there, but it's still not as impactful. The mids are recessed, as what I heard. Uh, and with this dip here, it's not as harsh. And, you know, this part here, it seems that it's tolerable. But here, I didn't expect this uh, spike. But um, didn't sound sibilant to me. And it sounds this part here uh, in the treble, from roughly about the three k to the eight k region here, uh, it actually made it a little bit more dark, yeah, compared to the uh, black nozzle. Okay, so I'm gonna save this, all right? So I'm gonna save this um, and call it the Kong a TRN Kong. Um, red okay so this is red now I recalled the file so this is the red and now I'm going to change out the nozzle so I'm going to change out to the black nozzle and see how it looks like uh, where is my oh there you go so I'm going to change out to the black nozzle and see how they compare. All right. Black nozzle's in. Okay. Let's do the, let's reset this and volume test first. Actually, no need. I already tested the volume. Okay. So let's go see how it looks like.
All right, guys. So now this is where the graph and your hearing uh, needs to be in sync in order to read the graph. So you look at this graph. The blue line is the um, black nozzle. And that was the first nozzle that I listened to. And at, I remember I mentioned that it sounded harsh and very energetic. And that's because of the peanut gain here. This part here, from 1K onwards, all the way to about 2.5K. That this steep um, rise here made it sound very harsh to me. Now the red nozzle, it actually sounds very nice it, compared to the black nozzle. So the red nozzle is the green line. If you look at the green line, it's much more smoother. It's not as energetic. It's not as painful. It's not as intense as the black nozzle. And it, this, this part here actually flattens out and uh, it actually gives me a darker uh, treble. And it trails off. I'm not too sure why. I think uh, the 8K may be my coupler's um, artifact, but I don't hear siblings on this IM. Well, maybe a bit, but it's tolerable. It's, it's not, it's not, hard, well, you know, the SNTs are not really sibilant, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So, and uh, of course, the um, um, red nozzle has got more bass. I, I heard a bit more elevation in the bass. And yeah, so if you ask me, I prefer the red nozzle. I've not tried the blue one. Um, and for the time, you know, sake, I'm not going to test the blue in this live stream. But yeah, two is enough. Yeah, the black and the red. Okay. So let's conclude. I would say this is, um, a vet, I mean, it's value for money, definitely value for money. And of course, uh, during times of discount, uh, as what uh, Hokago mentioned, he, he, the price may even go down to $24. But as it is now, the listed price is $38. And for $38 with interchangeable um, termination, right? You can change out uh, 2.5, 3.5, 4.4. And also you can change the tuning, right? You got um, three different tunings. Uh, and you can change it to your preference and the tuning right is a very significant tuning as you what you can see and it's noticeable by my ears okay so if i can hear it it means that the tuning is actually worth changing because there are some iems that comes with tuning that you know it, it just adjusts one or two db that doesn't make sense to me it's not even worth changing out the tuning just to hear that one or two db difference so yeah, the tuning on this, you can actually hear the difference. So it's actually pretty good in, ter in terms of changing tu uh, the tuning. And um, it, it all depends on your, I mean, everyone's uh, listening preference is, is different. So that's why this tuning, um, you know, nozzle is actually pretty good. For those of you, um, you know, who wants to listen to different tuning based on what kind of music you listen to. Uh, yeah, so for $38 is pretty worth it. But if now compared to my EW200, now EW200, there's a few things. You can't change out the, the nozzle. You can't, the cable is, um, you, you can't change out the um, termination as well. So I would say, I mean, I'm not really comparing Apple to Apple, but in terms of tuning, this is, uh, more to my liking right in terms of um, overall balance of the sound uh, bass wise treble wise this is all right when i changed out to the red nozzle it sounded pretty acceptable but treble wise i would say uh, the ew 200 sounds more natural to me as compared to the conch so yeah but I guess in terms of overall price to performance, I will have to give it to the conch. Yeah, it's much more worth it. Uh, in terms of value, you're getting more value uh, if, if you were to get the conch. Okay. And that concludes my overall review 
of the conch and the CS4, which I have some, somewhere here. I got no time to um, manage the cable. So sorry about this, but yeah, oh, it's a mess. And you know, the thing about this type of uh, budget cables, they are not easy to manage. So let me try to unravel this first. So yeah, so this is uh, my overall review for both the CS4 and the Conk. One is $10, well, $9.99, and the other is uh, $38, well, $37.99. So both are pretty good for value. This is definitely good for value, $9.90, uh, but the better value one is this Conk, right? You got interchangeable nozzle, interchangeable uh, termination for the cable you get nice cable as well and uh, you get nice ear tips yeah you get uh, nice t-tips these are actually sold separately you know um, trn they actually sell these i'm not too sure how much i think uh, it was ten dollars is it yeah so it is worth it okay so that concludes my review for these two now let's move on to comments if there are any uh let me just read the comments and let me just scroll down since i didn't get to read uh earlier let me see whole cargo heard great things about the rap city oh where was i oh so much more oh okay whole cargo um blue black red that's how the upper mids and treble is in decreasing order okay uh come run heard some people put the nozzle wrong and lost the thread careful there yeah yeah well i mean this thread is very delicate and if you uh you know destroy the thread then it will not go in anymore a uh, very good tip thanks for that um come run oh cargo in my opinion a simple base switch for most iams would be nice yes uh, flick it and get some instant base. Base is one thing, and you know, uh, you need to have that balance as well. So I would say treble as well. Some people may be treble sensitive, and uh, so I'm to me there are too many switches, and I I I tend to forget. And on top of switching, flicking it, you need to have a tool. You need to have a special SIM card tool, uh, to flick the switch. You know, and uh, I mean, some IEMs, they, they do have that switch exposed. But then again, you know, you tend to, when you adjust your your, your IEM, you tend to accidentally flick that switch. Uh, those are for exposed switch. I think Orivetti have those. Uh, next, Martin. Sounds rough or musical? Um, it would sound rough. Yeah, still sound a little bit rough. But for the... Um, red nozzle uh, that would sound a bit more musical to me yeah but it sounds a bit more rounded not so rough anymore smoother come run kz cca been doing that a lot lately yeah of course uh sayang Sa sayan effect of switch of cca rhapsody are quite noticeable hmm it is i don't know i gotta try it out but i don't think i have rhapsody I'm not too sure. Uh, come run. Rhapsody is a masterpiece. I think I have it. I'm not too sure. I need, I need to check my database for that. Uh, whole cargo heard great things about the Rhapsody. Almost who bought it, praised it. Okay. Cyan. Yeah, it's pretty good. They put the BA at the back. This time, no metallic sound. Decently quick DD and BA. Okay. Uh, come run if you like the caster black the rhapsody is the upgrade okay a lot of people speaking about this rhapsody uh cyan quila could have enjoyed a better time if they put the ba at the back true uh i i'm not a fan of the quila but it sounded all right to me if i remember uh come run haha <laughs> saw a mod to put the put some tape at the mouth of the ba to fix that well, mods are mods. Then the thing is, if you mod an IEM that, um, because mods are not really a controlled uh, environment, you, your the tape that you use may be different from whoever, but so you can't standardize this kind of mods uh, um, unless you use, um, you know, the 
filters or the paper filters. Uh, whole cargo, the red seems very good. If anyone can get it for 25-ish, price point will make a great gift for New Year's and or Christmas. Yes, it is. For 25 bucks, uh, this is definitely a steal uh, with this kind of, um, well, with this whole package being given, it is. Uh, blue is even brighter than the black nozzle. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Good thing I didn't try it because I don't want to damage my ear. Uh, Martin, that 2.5 uh, peak is hugely different, which I guess is good that they offer such a different tuning for those that want it. True. That's the reason why I say, you know, with uh, a huge difference, uh, you know, at least people are getting a, a value out of swapping out the nozzle. Because it's not easy to swap out the nozzle. It, I mean, it, it, it's more steps than just swapping the nozzle. You have to take it out from your ear. That means you're losing your seal. Uh, well, for me, I spent quite a lot of time to get my seal. And, you know, to lose that seal, that's an effort. And then to unscrew it, that's another effort. Or rather, to remove the ear tips, one effort. And, you know, these nozzles, they are not easy to unscrew. So I, I tend to get my fingers hurt. And then I need to take out my placeholder. Even Well, if there is a placeholder, some manufacturers or brands, they don't even give you a placeholder to keep the nozzles and I need to unscrew the nozzles from the placeholder and screw it back and then put back the nozzles and then put the earphones back into my ear too and then try and get my seal again so it's a lot of work to change the nozzle just to change the tuning so it's good that you know the swap is worth it okay so if it if the swap I mean if the, the change is just one or two dB is not really worth it yeah. Uh, Hokago, thanks for the stream, Ian. Have a nice Sunday. And you too, Hokago. Thank you so much for dropping by. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. Uh, Wijaya, hi, Ian. Until now, what is the worthy IM under $50? I'm looking for warmish, immersive, all-rounder IM. Thank you. Um, under 50 I would say for now. Uh, this, this actually... Hmm... You know, I, I was about to listen to the Moondrop LAN. Okay, and compare with this. But in terms of value, if you know, if you talk about warmish, uh, immersive, all rounder, balanced sound, I would say the Moondrop LAN, okay, is something that I like. It's on my top three anyway. Uh, the EW two hundred is on my top three, also, and uh, there is another one which is the um Fio FH eleven. I like that. That that one is actually pretty warm and pretty rounded as well. Not really, not really an all-rounder, but I would say it sounds warm and fun and musical. That one sounds more fun and musical. The EW200 and the Moondrop LAN uh, and this uh, conch, actually they sound a bit more balanced, okay? Uh, the conch would sound a little bit less warm, yeah? I would say even, even with the um, red uh, nozzle, it would sound, still sound a little bit less warm. And less based than uh, the EW200 and the Moondrop LAN. So, yeah, I would recommend any of those. Uh, Chef, Steve, two IMs that need more love are Just Ears, Clear, and the XS, XL, SL, X1. Both are in my top five below 50. Oh, okay. I've not heard uh, the X1, so I can't comment on that. For just ear clear, they sound all right. If uh, based on my memory, they sound all right. It's just that the treble part, if if I remember correctly, the treble didn't right quite gel with me in terms of the treble. Yeah. Uh, Steve, uh, Dunu S plus S tip are my go-to ear tip. Oh yeah, of course. You know, those drum ear tips are um um pretty unique, uh, and also. Pretty grippy as well. In fact, very grippy. It's just as grippy as this uh, T-tips. Uh, in terms of the nozzle-wise, uh, it's rounded. But I would say, you know, dip, well, different people. Again, different preference. Uh, the S, and S tips are actually good. Yeah. Come run, which I am recommending the Rhapsody. Good. Uh, okay. I've caught up with all the comments.
and the live stream has been on for one hour and 15 minutes thank you so much guys for keeping your um christmas eve free just to watch my live stream for those of you who are still watching by the way uh thank you so much but uh yeah i shall end this live stream uh i've gone through all my comments unless you guys have any more comments and i'll try to read them if not i've gone through all the comments so uh thank you so much guys for uh joining me on this um review of the um trn cs4 and the trn conk i hope you guys have a great holiday enjoy your christmas eve uh, have a nice christmas and also and a happy new year right so that's it for now for this live stream i hope you guys have a great day ahead for today thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's it for now this is ian signing off merry christmas